Hi, friendly HR expert here, and I want to talk about compensation and debt today in D.C., Washington. See this chart down here on the right, this uh, blue and red one? That's our debt. And regardless of whether Republicans or Democrats are in office, it just keeps growing exponentially. It doesn't show Trump there, but it's up $22 trillion in growing. Most of our taxes go to pay that off, probably just the interest on it. Uh, you see this green and blue one? Well, that's pension for Congress, whether they're Democrat or Republican. That's them voting for their own pension plan, the green one. But they get a defined pension plan. I don't think anybody has that anymore outside of federal government. Basically, what it says is you're vested in five years. Anybody else get vested in five years? Hmm. And after about 20 years of service, you can fully retire. And it's an average of your top three years salary. It's paid to you every month for life. So let's see, Social Security, you pay for years and years and years, and if you pay the maximum amount, and you probably had to be earning close to 100000 to do that, you're going to get, what, 2300 I think it is now a month, uh, at, after the age of 72. Do you know what they're getting average here with this pension plan over there? It's about 12000 a month. And you see that little blue one? That's you and me. And it's portable. Nobody gets to find pension plans anymore. And we get about a 6% match. They're getting like an 18% match. It's crazy. And, you know, do you ever hear this come up in the debates? Because I never hear it. They pull up all kinds of red herrings like, oh, right to life and get us yelling at each other about things we care about. But don't talk about the things that really probably make a difference. Make Congress, for that matter, the president, have our benefit, average benefits in this country. And you'd see some voting changes, maybe some more protection for us that they don't do now because, you know, big business doesn't want to pay out benefits and big business pays for their campaigns. So if this is a representative government, it's failed utterly. I think they all ought to be fired. Get somebody in there that knows what it means. Change these laws. Uh, force it to come up. These are issues that really do impact us, and we ought to care about it. I don't know. It makes me angry. Does it make you angry?